So I guess my question was, can somebody who is artistically inclined become a developer? And if so, where would be the best fit? And after learning about development, um, and I actually went to a boot camp too, so I learned a lot there, but now also being self-taught, or well, after boot camp, um, I learned that a person who is artistically inclined, it they would be a good fit for, um, I would say, UX, UI. But not necessarily just there, because thinking of an architecture, for example, for the back end, well, you got to be creative. You got to have like a certain type of mindset to see the things that are not present. So it takes a certain type of creativity, a creativity that usually artists have. And as an artist, I think you already know what I'm talking about, just that ability to just visualize things and feel them and put your, putting yourselves in the shoes of somebody else, somebody who's going to be using the site, looking at it, understanding the the just how another person would think at the moment of using your, your site, your application. So if you're an artist, if you're artistically inclined, even if you're heavily artistically inclined, don't count out uh, coding. Uh, if you don't even have to code. Uh, the front end. You can design it to uh, UI, UX, but coding is also going to help you a little bit. Um, but yeah, so if you are an artist or physically inclined, I I hope you can share this video with, with your friends who are thinking of getting into tech or coding and development in general, but are scared, paranoid, have heard the worst things about being a developer, that you can leverage your skills to become a better professional. So if you or any of your friends need to hear it, um, being artistically inclined is on the, a great asset to be a developer. So I say go for it. Become a developer, yet keep your artistic side open and always, always, always practicing, always doing your craft, and you'll be the best professional that you can be yeah don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time i'll see you in the next video i keep saying in the next time is there a next time boom <laughs> later guys